in his essay, The Pan Optican, uh, when he, uh, you know, recounts the, uh, the words of uh, V.S. Jaffa, who had served as additional district magistrate in Mizoram during the troubled times. Jaffa records his personal experience of the tragedy where he talks about, you know, the Dhubi exercise, which was carried uh, out during 1967 to 70. He was talking about the and so on and so forth. And, but the most important thing he said was the romance of Mizo life disappeared forever. This was tragic. In fact, we won't talk at length about that, but what I want to say here is that uh, going by what Sajal Nath says uh, about this experience of grouping, uh, you know, he says that one of the most horrible consequences of regrouping was that um, this possible resettlement shattered the very foundation of the economic and social structure of the Mizos and created a generation of dependence. Now, uh, dependence, uh, depend, uh, 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 in fact, you know, uh, when we talk about, uh, you know, state of dependence, in fact, uh, before the Zoram Boy, it seems there were many villages like, uh, you know, uh, for example, Darzo, uh, in the accounts of, um, writers, we have seen that Darzo and ha, uh, uh, ha, Tsang and all those, they were, uh, they were very rich villages. Okay. Uh, Darzo was one of the richest villages, uh, which um, according to Jaffa had, uh, you know, he, he said that it was one of the richest village he had ever seen in this part of the world. There were ample stores of paddy, fowls and pigs. But you know what, when grouping happened, all the villagers had to be burnt down. The paddy, the, the cattle, you know, the, the pigs, ev everything, they had to be burnt down. And uh, people were kept in, in, in you know, new, new uh, villages where they were, uh, in fact, given the government rations. So in a way, they were made dependent for their survival. Okay. So this. Um, you will see that India, since its colonial encounter, had witnessed a lot of change, uh, political, economic, social, uh, that continues in contemporary times through the process of modernization. Um, so I'm going to conclude, you know, soon. Uh, but, uh, you know, change is, uh, is, is uh, not a unique phenomenon of modernization, of course, it has been an essentially universal component of human experience, but uh, it can be said that the rapid pace and proportion of change is a characteristic of modernization. Uh, change in recent times has exacerbated the disadvantaged conditions of people, especially the marginal, uh, the marginal populations like the middle population, population as well. And uh, change, unlike development, which is a value-loaded term, is um, uh, you know um, is uh, value neutral. It and it does not necessarily lead to development. All change that does not necessarily lead to development. Change uh, can be, uh, as we, uh, you know, Wilbert Moore had said, it can be. So what has changed, what, what has modernization uh, through its change brought to traditional economy like uh, that of the Mizos, if we say, uh, and how has it affected? Uh, it has aggravated, you know, the, uh, uh, the economy has been aggravated by the onslaught of technological advance, industrialization, modernization and globalization coupled with you know, wide scale destruction of the environment. And therefore, uh, we are, uh, you know, we should remember that, uh, you know, this calls for reclaiming of traditional potentials, which can meet uh, with modern demands. 
uh, through a recreation and through a symbiosis of the modern and the traditional in order to address the current crisis and alleviate ourselves from the position of marginality. Position of marginality. So these principles of equality, socialism, social justice, which uh, India has promised in its independence calls for uh, uh, not only economic development, but a socio-cultural development as a whole. Uh, simply relying on the good graces of the center package might not essentially be the best solution for Mizoram in the long run. It is important to see development as a desired uh, social change. Uh, let, let us remind ourselves an expansion of freedoms with increased chances of happiness. To have that, it is important to give importance to the cultural values and reclaim the unique potentials of a Mizo. Thank you. I suppose now it is time for open discussion if there is any. I hand it over to PC Lafaliani. Oh, oh, well, ma'am, uh, thank you so much for uh, uh, having a wonderful session with us. Okay, now uh, time will be open for question and answer. Question le answer zo dali chat na hun kan lao mang do na nga azo du te kanin audience sa chang kanin du du azo te ya tu 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 na hun kan lao hong ang mizo chong po na zo te ve kasap chong po na zo te ve kita. So na han tia han Oh, so how na? Yes, yes. Acha so lo mo so that you can also supplement the 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 lecture that I had given. You know, it's not just necessary to ask. Ah, right, right, right. Hmm, hmm. Yeah, so how na adu du tan kan honga so du nei mo kang hou tan kan tu na hun kan lo hongang. kan uh, audience uh, no pangte kan no pangte a uh, ema uh, aza thak lowa i soidu nei zo du nei ti te kami pui tling ti dan zo kan ni a chu wang chon in a uh, tu na i hun kan honga le soidu nei tan Hello. Um, got chung in shit him, oh. Oh, shit here. Yeah. Oh, oh um, e little chazoali can e ah e commerce department and e zo na pony tia to allow any discussion missing a rosu yang do canin do na atil o so is on zong a chunk canin e development chung tanka a bikin kemani e mizautia hianin and tinge e development nang manga e danin chalaitia a big takin e traditional inheritance he and a change can success to joining e nang mani so da na kanin kanin e open ve kha ngai ta ni en kong en khima khan chumi ko nga chon he mi kan thil ti dan pi le pu te ne na changa kan som kan traditional inheritance hang hian e development hi ke ni hian in kan kal pui theang ti kha advice mo nang ma ngai da ni mo e opinion na chang khan in e min shield hengem kalom lu tu ke tu chu ka zo na le en ka suggestion chumi Thank you so much, Chazwale. Mm, uh, that is a very, uh, that is a wonderful question. The mm. Commerce Department, I mean, in Iboka, to Vangswan in Izona Poka Market, Lama Han Han Hoitirila. In fact, uh, yes, uh, that's a very important question that one asks, and how we can promote the, as you said, you know, the uh, intangible cultural heritage and which includes uh, traditional craftsmanship, uh, traditionally inherited skills as, as it were. Uh, in fact, you know, let's face the truth in today's world. Uh, as I had, uh, you know, said in the course of my lecture that it is not enough in our world today to uh, have knowledge and keep that knowledge with us. Uh, rather, how are we going to promote that knowledge? How are, what are we going to do with that knowledge, be it culturally inherited 
or otherwise um, that you know we can we should look at uh, the promotion uh, in the global market uh, you cannot ignore, even if we try to, we cannot remain isolated uh, from the world. Um, the world The world economy has uh, is now such that we are brought into this global economy, whether you like it or not. Now, the, the challenge which is faced by the traditional craftsmen is that, how am I going to promote this to the global market? Uh, so you, we have to develop, uh, you know, market strategies See, uh, let me give you a very brief example. Uh, green tea can tea. Green tea can tea can I sang a ema e engeni e mel chadu zong 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 in a green tea he and in a new hope zong in tear nan and tear pa hole in e shell nan and tear a nulana in mel chatan in tear and green tea, you know, is uh, much more expensive than the normal tea that you have. You know, in the department still stores. Now, if you go to these uh, stores, you would find that green tea comes with a you know much more expensive package than the normal tea that you have. Although Assam is known for one of the best tea, uh, but then you know, uh, you know, it can't can't compete. The normal tea cannot compete with the uh, more exotic tea that you find nowadays. Not only green tea, but you have this golden tea. You have silver tea, white tea, and so on and so forth. Why is it that these have become much more expensive? It is because, uh, as, as I have mentioned uh, at the beginning of my lecture, um, let us take recourse to what Foucault had said about knowledge is power and power is knowledge. You see, he says that, um, uh, uh, you know, power does not concentrate only in one institution, it is diffused. So therefore, uh, you know, when you have power, you build a kind of a knowledge. The knowledge also, like say, green tea, the knowledge that green tea is far superior, uh, far better than the normal tea, the normal uh, black tea that you are used to have. Now, uh, so when that happens, you know, it increases the market rate and it, 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 it you know, occupies a very prominent uh, place in the global market. That is how you sell the product. Now, for example, when we, we were talking about green fashion, uh, we, uh, you know, uh, the market strategies, uh, if market strategies are absent, then you, you won't be going uh, much further but then market strategies when you aim at local market uh, well well and good for example one one he, uh, the church plays a very major uh, has a uh, plays a very big role a major role like it's, uh, we can say that in promoting the market for mizop one at least locally because the church insists that uh, during church service in mizoram uh, women would be wearing one because you see women uh, we are uh, you know whether we like it or not we are uh, seen as tradition bearers but what if uh, men also it's 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 quite uh, difficult to to expect them to wear one uh, of course uh, but uh, you know uh, at least the church uh, you know promotes this uh, uh, the church promotes um, uh, this use of one, the traditional one, and thus it saves the local market, for example. Likewise, what is it that, but if, if you try to sell one in the global market, it won't, uh, it won't sell uh, much because that is not the demands that the, lo uh, the global market would be having. How are you going to refashion it? How are you going to uh, make it more attractive for the global market? And you have to research on the benefits um, of you know uh, um, uh, traditional wares, how is it ecologically uh, beneficial? So on so forth. Uh, you know, uh, I would say yes. You need market strategies for that. I think I answer your question. Am I audible? Are you still mm. there? Yes, ma'am. As well. mm. Yes, miss. Uh, you are audible. Yeah. Okay. Juan Midang ka, so idu neitan kan hong liang o Midang. Wah durau me ang kini kan timrup me. 
<laughs> Ilang eng lutuk mem. Mm. Out light kan kan on ka on ti ra ka fate. <laughs> okay miss, uh, one question from uh, my side. So, am I audible? Yes, you are audible. May I know okay, you're okay, speaking? Miss. Yeah, uh, thank you so much for your um, interactive session and it is very informative. So my question is uh, this, the challenges faced uh, in this traditional uh, product in ISOL is the price. So uh, how to tackle this price competition with this uh, artificial uh, stuffs, light clothes and all, ma'am. Actually, we can buy in very cheap clothes about this, uh, these stuffs about the non-traditional stuff. So according to your opinion, uh, how how the prices of our traditional dress and all can can be a little bit, you know, like cheaper for market prices. So what is your opinion on this? Thank you so much. Uh, in fact, that is also, that is a pertinent question often asked when we talk about, uh, uh, you know, indigenous products, when we talk about uh, hand, uh, handicrafts and all those. In fact, that is a very, uh, that is a question to be, uh, you know, addressed uh, also by the government because, uh, you know, uh, see on one hand, as you have rightly pointed out, the hand woven, for example, the hand woven cloth is uh, um, far more expensive than the factory produced cloth. Now, factory produced cloth, why do you can have it for uh, 200 uh, rupees? Then the hand woven would cost you more than a thousand. Now, to address such uh, issues, in fact, that is what we are saying that uh, the factory produced ones, because of its, uh, you know, availability uh, at that to at cheap rates, uh, in a way, it also, uh, uh, you know, it, uh, produces this. Uh, or responsible for fast fashion. That is why fashion changes, you know, very soon. Uh, rather, that is what we were saying, slow fashion. If we can uh, condition the people, you know, condition, knowledge is all about conditioning. How you think, what you are, is all about your conditioning. Sometimes you are culturally conditioned into thinking that this is the truth, this is right, or this is wrong. For one culture, if this is right, for another culture, it might be very wrong. So, but it depends on cultural conditioning. And nowadays, it is all about information sharing. Now, uh, technology is very advanced and uh, or just knowledge is not enough, but information sharing. Now, if uh, again, we, talk, we come to market strategies again, how to uh, uh, make these, uh, you know, products uh, at a cheaper rate. Now that is a question which would involve a lot of uh, factors. Like we said, uh, if you, if say for example, uh, if you're, you're convinced that gold is something which is very valuable and it, and therefore the price of gold is uh, much, much higher, much higher, extremely higher than a slice of bread. But you need bread or you need, you need rice for your sustenance. What is more required for you? Twenty liters of water, he had filtered water, uh, mineral water. Uh, of course, that's a misnomer, but then he had packaged water, he 20 liters, he it costs here, it costs 30 rupees. Some two men can lay at 20 liters. See, Masse 20 kgs of gold, low lay tumla, some sank some tums and elate a top long, Masse Kung a poem was of Puy poem was of a buffy poem was of Masse Kaka, a gold ka a a lu, an a inga van can, a western tapeka, e in huam tani, two vans one in a he me mal in a detail in a any. The change, uh, you know, a change can be brought about, of course, uh, through efforts. And uh, it depends really, I would say, on people who control the market. 
and you can be one because you are of the young generation you can build this you can condition the the psyche of the of the young to go for slow fashion which although you might be needing to pay more for that but it is much more valuable midangad la om bo midang zo du nei la om bo sai du nei an om to lo an yang an ngoi de ucha pa chon in now um i call upon our hod sarmala to give a word of thanks a very good afternoon to one and all on behalf of the department of geography government frank bada college i would like to express my gratitude to all the delegates of the webinar for your presence and uh, contribution to make this webinar uh, a great success firstly i would like to thank our distinguished speaker ms zautan singh kiangte for making an excellent presentation and making this webinar a very meaningful and interesting ma'am we are fortunate to have you here in our webinar a special thanks to pula rochuanga pacho our principal and chairman iqsc government rangbana college for his immense support to make the webinar successful i would like to extend my heartfelt gratitude to dr albiak zuali coordinator iqsc for taking initiative of a series of webinar even amidst the pandemic miss without your initiative and guidance this program would not be materialized finally the wonderful students who have turned up in such great numbers from different core subject today i hope and wish you all benefited from this program thank you so much for your cooperation once again thank you all mm. okay now um, we have come to the end of our session um, everyone is free to leave the uh, webinar the zoom meeting thank you all bye bye thank you bye bye